utilizing and expanded glazing to allow natural light and education facilities. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we look at how natural light entering educational facilities can be increased without compromising the efficiency of the building envelope and how this impacts student and teacher performance. Many times to increase the thermal efficiency of older schools, the choice will be made to replace outdated older windows with windows and doors that are newer made with more thermally efficient products. Products can easily be installed from the exterior and also match the existing building's design and help keep the facility upgraded and maintaining its thermal efficiency. The Ward Building at Northwest University was originally built in the mid-1920s. The university updated the building's original wood windows and doors with a high-performance thermal solution that required minimal maintenance and would also help maintain the classic historic look appearance of the school's campus increasing the thermal efficiency and increasing interior thermal comfort around the exterior walls. Another aspect of sustainability is expanding the exterior glazed area to utilize more natural light in art, as opposed to artificial lighting. We just discussed some of the improvements in thermal technology that are standard part of commercial glass and glazing today. We have the technology to expand the exterior glazed area without compromising the efficiency of the building envelope. Not only does natural light offset energy needed for artificial lighting, but expanded daylight and views has many other proven benefits on educational facilities. There are excellent studies that have shown and are available and they document the benefits of expanded natural light and views on educational facilities. Here's a quick list of them. We touched on it earlier, but I wanna cycle back to this because it's very, very important. Expanded natural light and daylighting has been proven in schools to improve student scores, uh, lower the stress level, improves teacher retention, lower absentee rates, and lower teacher turnover. So it definitely has a uh, benefit to expanding glazing. Now this last one listed here is the impact on body circadian rhythm. We now recognize how important daily exposure to sunlight is for us. In 2017, the Nobel Award was given to three doctors who studied the impact of daylight upon our body's natural clock, which is circadian rhythm. This is a natural rhythm in our bodies that regulates our sleep, eating patterns, along with other physiology, such as hormone release, blood pressure, and body temperature. These are all set by exposure to daylight on a daily basis. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.